Hey guys, I hope all of you are doing great and today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make a mixed media layout tutorial using some craft supplies from Little Body Crafts. So the first thing which you're going to do is take some clear gesso and apply it to your paper. And I'm using two scraps of paper which I have layered together on a black thick piece of cardstock. It is very important to apply gesso to your layout because it acts as a primer and your colors will obviously stay um, for longer period and basically your colors they show up very well uh, on any kind of gesso so i'm going to be covering my entire layout with some clear gesso right now usually i do white gesso but i really didn't want it the color of the background page to fade away so that's why i'm using clear gesso so the one which I'm using right now is from Prima Marketing and I think it is really good quality and the consistency is really 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 good. Once my clear gesso is dry, just take some white gesso and apply it in the center of the paper right where you know that your layout is going to take a figure. So basically what I do is that I have a rough idea of how I want my layout to be. And right around those corners I will apply some white gesso because in white gesso let it be any color it shows up properly and basically our colors pop your yellow will be true yellow the blue will be true blue so now the next thing which I'll do is use some chalk paints again by little body crafts they're also known as itsy bitsy itsy bitsy is the Indian version and they um, and with the name of little body they are basically trading off shows so using some chalk paints I will be now applying some chalk paints in the center and I'll try my best to make a nice consistent uh, merge of colors in the center which you'll see as I'm doing using basically a simple basic paint brush and always keep a water spray bottle besides you so that anything you do wrong you can always smudge it off the next thing which I am doing is basically I took some contrasting colors, uh, spray colors and the one which I am using is by Lindy Stam Gang and I am applying it to the texture paste which I applied. I think I forgot to record that part but yes I did apply some texture paste and it was basically paper texture paste by Finnabur. So what I am doing is right now that I am applying colors and now I am applying some more texture paste and this is by Mudra Stamps, the stencil. And again, the paper texture, texture paste is by uh, Finnabar Prima Art Alchemy series. So once my texture paste is dry, uh, basically it is semi dry, not even dry. I'm going to add some embossing powder to it and I will emboss some beautiful colors on my layout. And this is a really nice technique because in this you don't have to use the watermark uh, pad, uh, which creates a lot of fuss. Just add your uh, beautiful uh, embossing powder onto the texture paste. It will automatically automatically take the same design as you can see here on my layout. Once this part is done, I'll take some mixed media stamp and I'll try to do embossing over that stamp texture. So this stamp is from Prima Marketing and I'm using my Versamark Fine Ink. And to the same texture, I will be applying some embossing powder in another contrasting colors. And I'm absolutely in love with the results. I really love adding embossing powders to my layout, as you can see, and I talk about it all the time. So my camera didn't shoot a little part of this video, and that's the reason you will be seeing a difference in the layout. So what I did during this time is basically I took some black paint and some white paints and I added splatter of it all around the page. That makes a huge difference. Now using your 3D gloss gel, apply it at different different places in the page and after that we are, going to, we are going to put some art stones on top of it and that will give you a beautiful beautiful texture and a very beautiful look my art stones are my absolute favorite ingredients i love adding them to all my layouts and i can never get tired of them I think they add beautiful dimensional effect to any layout and they can transform the beauty of it within a second. Now I'm adding uh, some more colors and I'm using Lindy's shaker because I just got them and I was really excited to use them. 
and they make beautiful colors like look at the colors and the textures they look absolutely gorgeous so i will be adding some shaker colors all around the page and once i'm satisfied with it i'm going to start layering my layout with some images and some embellishments so as you can see the way i do it is that i keep on adding color i keep on adding stuff till the time i'm completely satisfied with it I mean eventually with mixed media there will be a stage when you will be satisfied with your results and the thing with mixed media is that there is no wrong there is absolutely no wrong and what i love about mixed media projects is that you don't have to worry about symmetry i am actually really bad with symmetry so you don't have to worry about symmetry and that's i think the most perfect thing so 90% of the embellishments which you see on my layout are from little body crafts and they have a retail store called itsybitsy.in and a wholesaler store which is called little body crafts and both the stores are basically linked below and most of the products which i'm using here they are linked below you have to check out the website i mean it's amazing they can be the next thing the only like, i mean they're just waiting for to be, like they're just waiting to be discovered and once people know about the about this company it's going to create a revolution the products are amazing each and every embellishments is fabulous the flowers i just want to have all of them so hats off to the team so i'll keep on layering my uh, um, layout till the point i'm satisfied i add a lot of layers i add a lot of die cuts to everything which i do here one thing which i want to point out is that don't get intimidated by my supplies i have been collecting these from over years trust me it's my eighth year since i have been crafting so i have accumulated a lot of junk always try to use whatever you have in your stash these wood lock pieces and that uh, wood slice i mean it wasn't like that is not something which is very conventional right to have in your stash right so i just had it and i used it so keep on using these elements which you find lying around I mean you can actually find really interesting stuff on street sometime and I'm not kidding and it's not funny like I actually found some good nuts and bolts on streets from a mixed media You'll see that I'm adding some uh fox pearls and these are sprays which I bought from Michaels and i have these bunch of sprays which i always keep on my desk so basically they act as good fillers with my uh, layouts and in the end you'll see that i am adding some gauze and i don't know whether i've talked about this before but i generally never stick my pictures i always use a hinge clip so that i always have power to basically change my pictures whenever i want so as you remember in the beginning i was using this yellow picture like a yellow backgroundish picture and now i'm using a purple picture because i felt this one goes better with the layout so always remember these small tips and they will actually help you a lot um in the end you'll see me that i'm adding uh, some black outlining and i really like this technique i have learned like i've seen jaya raghavanshi doing this and i just absolutely love the results so i'm adding some back black outline and then after that in the end uh, probably that part is not shown the camera but i will be priming my entire layout again with some gesso and this time i will be using a very thin layer of gesso so that my entire color is a little toned down i really didn't like the fact that my colors were popping up a lot so i just took some uh, gesso and using brush and sometimes even you can use your uh, fingers i'm going to tone it down a little So my layout is finally ready and I really like it. I really hope you guys also like the results. And everything which I've used here I'm going to be listing it down with the links below so that you can go out and shop. And uh, please do you leave your feedback. It really helps me in growing as an artist. And don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Have a great day ahead.